Hi everyone, just popping in to do another challenge with you. Uh, just before I do that, I just wanted to say that obviously we are listening to the government guidelines and we will kind of keep everyone up to date when we start getting an idea of when we might be coming out of this. Obviously things are starting to move a little bit now, uh, things are starting to look a little bit more positive, um, but obviously we have no kind of go ahead as of yet in regards to classes and stuff like that. So we will keep you up to date as and when we get that information. Uh, but yeah, just for now, this is another challenge for you. So this again is aimed at our camera club for this one because I'm aware that we've not really done like a photography related challenge for a while, but everyone can do this. So it's really, really easy. It's really, really simple. Uh, so what I would like you to do for this exercise is I would like you to choose one item and I would like you to take, it's up to you. You can either, I'd say minimum 20 pictures maximum about 40 pictures and I want you to take that many pictures of the same item so this is designed to really get you thinking about your composition and it's really really to kind of get you thinking about your framing and how you take a picture of something and it really focuses on how you can take lots of different pictures of the same item and it just helps you kind of think outside the box a little bit so I will post my example down below I have actually got a gorgeous bunch of flowers here so this is a lovely bunch of flowers and I have used this as my subject so this is what I wanted to take my pictures of and I have gone in and I have taken a number of different pictures of these flowers but I've tried to think outside the box and I've tried to do something a little bit different and try and capture these flowers in as many different ways as possible. So these look really 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 nice when you put them together in a collage they do look gorgeous I mean this could even go on the wall um, but it's up to you, it really is up to you. If you've got flowers and you would like to try it on, on a bunch of flowers, feel free to do that. But otherwise, choose anything else that you've got lying around the house. Maybe even think about putting them into some of the pictures into black and white or changing the colours. If you have like an editing app on your phone or your tablet or whatever it is that you're using. And that's just another way to change up those pictures. So think about your angles. Think about photographing from a low angle, photographing from a high angle, and think about how that will differ your picture. So how it will make your picture look a little bit different. And again, just really concentrate on that composition, which is that framing. So maybe think about doing a close up. You could do a close up of the inside of the flower and you could do a far away picture of where the flowers are in, in your house. So for me, they'd be on this window ledge. Just play around a little bit and get creative and post your collages down below so that we can have a look at them. Hopefully see you all soon. Bye.